So, Marcus, what can you tell us about uh, the Italians, Giorgiani and Manfredini? Well, I think these two must be one of the most versatile amateur dancers at the moment. They're actually amateur Italian ballroom champions and ten dance champions. And as you can see with Alicia's dress, the dress difference between this couple and the other couples is very, very effective. It's somewhere between ballroom and Latin with a la difference, very Italian in style. I think very, very different and very good. This couple have a powerful and dynamic look to their dancing, which shows up particularly well in slow motion. We've got 138 Italians here this week, yeah. and nobody knows, and we didn't know, that dancing was so popular in Italy. Why is that? Yeah, I think that uh, now in Italy there is many schools, many teachers, so we have uh, a lot of sh chance for training. Now, what do you think are the chances of Italy retaining the crown this year? We try to get the cup again. Of course. <laughs> you think you have a good chance? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so too. If not, I don't want you to send the boys in with the violin cases. <laughs> Promise? If I cannot, I will dance with you next year. You dance with me next yes. year? Yes. As a ballroom, but because I'm not so good in Well, oh, you better hope you win it then, because you don't know what you're taking on. But good luck for the point. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Number 17 from Italy, Massimo Giorgiani and Alessia Manfredini. Italians won this competition last year. They've now turned professional. Could these two be following in their footsteps? Well, they're very, very technically sound dancers and dancing very, very well. They've been working on musicality in their dancing, and that is evident tonight. It's number 17. He dances his body through the girl. Very strong tango dancer. Oh. 